Hello, Sairam students. Let us continue with our chapter 12 that is lines, angles and triangles. Now in the last class, we have already learned about the different types of angles and also about their measurement. So today, let us learn through a video how to measure and construct an angle using a protector. Now student, this is a picture of a protector. So first, let us begin by learning about the geometrical instrument that is protector. Now protector is always used to measure angles. Angles are measured in degrees. The symbol used to write degree is a small raised circle. Now each tiny mark on the protector shows one degree. Can you see this? That is from 0 to 10 there are 10 lines. So each tiny line shows 1 degree. So from 0 you will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Till you come 10, there are 10 lines from 0 to 10. So each tiny mark is 1 degree. It has markings from 0 to 180 degree. And we can read from 0 degree to 180 degree from left to right and right to left. Now can you see this? We have got two scales of measurement. One is an inner scale from this side 0 to 180 degree and the outer scale that is from 0 to 180 degree. So we can read this markings that is 0 degree to 180 degree from left to right as well as from right to left. Now whenever we have measure an angle the one first point what we have to keep it in mind is that is while measuring an angle the central point of the protector this is the center point of the protector so the center point of the protector is placed on the vertex of an angle okay so this thing is that is this five points you have to keep it in mind so while measuring an angle the center point of the protector is placed on the vertex of the angle. So let us learn, let us see now how to measure an angle using a protector. Okay, now let us learn how to measure an angle. Now we all know children that is in this protector we have got two scales of measurement that is an inner scale and an outer scale. Now inner scale we have readings from 0 to 180 degree and also in an outer scale, we have 0 degree to 180 degree. Now, both these markings are in opposite direction. Now, to measure an angle, you need to keep certain points in mind. Now, the first point is, let us see some examples how to measure. Now, the first one here, first point is, place the center point of the protector on the vertex of the angle. Now, here the center point is, Your vertex is M. So place the center point of the protector on the vertex that is M. The second point what you have to keep it in mind is ensure that the zero degree line. Can you see this? Zero degree line coincides with one arm of the angle. Now you will start reading from this zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now start reading from zero degree now read the degree measure that coincides with the other arm that is ML. Okay. So what is the measurement? Your measurement is 60 degree. So angle is write it as angle L M N is equal to 60 degree. Or you can also write it as angle M measures 60 degree. Coming to the second example. Okay. Now the first thing is place the center of the protector on the vertex. Now here your vertex is Y. Okay. Now the second point what you have to keep it in mind is ensure that this 0 degree line. Now here your 0 is starts from here. So ensure that the 0 degree line coincides with this one arm of the angle. Correct. So here it is coinciding with the ray Y 
x. So now start reading from here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Now read the degree measure that coincides with the other arm or you can say ray y z. Okay. So what is the measurement? Your measurement is 120 degree. Okay. So here you can write it as angle z or x y z is equal to 120 degree or you can say angle y is equal to 120 degree so let us see one more example yes now coming to this angle a o b now here the first point what you have to do is you will place the center point of the protector on the vertex of the angle. Now here your vertex is O. Okay, here your vertex is O. Okay, now start reading. Ensure that the zero degree line. Now here your zero degree line is this one. So ensure that the zero degree line coincides with the one arm of the angle okay so start reading from that side here you will start reading from 0 degree 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 110 now this is between 110 and 120 so what is your measurement you will just read it carefully take each one marking has one degree. So here it is your measurement is 115 degree. So you will write it as angle A O B is equal to 115 degree. Or you can write it as angle O is equal to 115 degree. Okay, now hope students you all must have understood how to measure an angle. Yes, in the next video we will learn how to construct an angle using a protector. Okay, now by seeing this video I hope all you must have understood how to measure an angle. Now let us see how to draw or construct the following angles using a protector. Okay, some of the examples I have taken from exercise 12.1. So, this you have to do it in your notebook. Now, let's learn how to construct an angle of 25 degree using a protector. Now, to construct an angle, we need to follow certain steps. First, draw a ray of some length and name it as y. Z. The second thing is keep the center of the protector on the vertex Y. Keep the center of the protector on the vertex Y so that the baseline coincides with the ray Y Z. Now here has the zero degree line coincides with the Y Z. We'll start the reading from here till 25 so 0 10 20 now 25 is between 20 and 30 so we'll mark a point here remove the protector and we'll name it this point as x now join point x with y so your measurement that is angle x y z is equal to 25 degree or you can write it as angle y is equal to 25 degree okay now let us draw an angle of 100 degree okay so first what we will do is we will draw a ray 
of some length and we will name it as M N. Now the second thing is we will keep the center of the protector at the vertex M. Here the vertex is M. Yes. So we will keep the center of the protector at the vertex M so that the baseline coincides with the ray M N. Now here the baseline is M N. So we will start reading from the 0 degree. So we have to form an angle of 100 degrees. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 is here. So we will mark a point here and we will name it as point L. Now remove the protector and join the point L with M. So your angle of 100 degree is formed. Yes. So the measure of angle L M N is equal to 100 degree or you can write it as angle M is equal to 100 degree. Now let us do the D1 with a 65 degree and draw an angle of 65 degree okay now one more we will draw first a ray of some length and we will name it as r and s okay so what is our second point that is we have to keep the center point center of the protector at vertex now here your vertex is r so, we will keep the center point of the protector at vertex R so that the baseline coincides with ray R S. Now, as the 0 degree line coincides with this arm of the angle, now you can say the ray R S will start counting from this 0 and we will count till 65. Now, 0 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now 65 comes in between 60 and 70. So we will put a point here. Remove the protector and name this point as point P. Now join this point P with R and your angle is formed that is of 65 degree. So, angle PRS is equal to 65 degree or you can write it as angle R is equal to 65 degree. So, in this way, you can, you have to draw the following angles using a protector. Now today we have learned how to measure and construct an angle using a protector. So based on this, some home assignment for you. Now children, exercise 12.1, angles are given there. You have to measure the following angles using a protector and write the measurement in the textbook itself. And the next one is draw the following angles using a protector. That is 30 degree, 80 degree, 150 degree and 160 degree. So this you have to do it in your homework part. So that's all for today. Meet you in the next class. Thank you and bye bye.